This is question 5 from paper 1 of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. We're given five pieces of data and we're asked a question about the standard deviation of these pieces of data. So, a reminder that on your formula sheet you will find two versions of the formula that gives you S, the standard deviation. So what do all these bits and pieces mean? X means the data. So for instance, X could be 1 or 2 or 2 or 2 or 8. X bar is the mean of that data. Now we're going to need to work that out. X bar, remember that's the sum of these. 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 8 divided by the number of pieces of data. There's five pieces of data. That's 10, 12, 40, 15 divided by 5. That gives us a mean of 3. So we know what this is. We know what this is. N is the number of pieces of data. So in this case n would be 5. So I think we're getting there. Let's have a look first of all at the data and once we've got that lined up let's look at the difference between each piece of data and the mean. And watch the order here. Well, ultimately, it won't make any difference because we're squaring it. Anyway, 1 minus the mean is for 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And 8 minus 3 is 5. As I said earlier, we square them. So we take these differences squared. Now remember when you square any number you always get a positive number unless the number is 0. So negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. That will give us positive 1, positive 1, positive 1, positive 25. This sigma means the sum. So we're going to have to add these deviations from the mean, the differences between the data and the mean. So let's write this down there. The sum of these deviations squared, 25, 26, 27, 28, 32, is 32. And we need to divide that by n minus 1. Now, n was the number of pieces of data, which we said was 5, so we have to divide that by 4. So to get s, we take the sum of these squared deviations from the mean and divide it by 1 less than the number of pieces of data. So that'll be 4. And 4 into 32 is 8. Now that's not s, S is that square rooted. And remember in the question, they're saying that the standard deviation is equal to the square root of A. So A must be 8. 